Alright folks, so I just wanted to do a quick video talking a little bit about an antenna that I put together. This is uh, really my first antenna project that I've worked on, so any advice or comments, criticism, uh, anything positive you want to say down in the comments would be appreciated. I really like to draw on the experience from everybody uh, watching the video. But uh, anyhow, this is a speaker wire antenna, and these things seem to have gained some popularity because they're very cheap and simple to make. And then one of the benefits behind them, because uh, this is a balanced line all the way through, is you don't require the use of a transformer or a ballon. At least I don't believe that you do. So what I've done here is I used a dipole calculator. Um, Westmountainradio.com, I believe, is the one that I used. And I typed in a frequency on the 10 meter band of uh, 28400. And uh, that gave me uh, a measurement length for my radials. So what I did is I measured off the length of the recommended length for the radials and then I marked the speaker wire with a sharpie. Um, and what I did after that is I used some electrical tape. And this is the kind of stuff I wanted to share. I used some electrical tape to go ahead and tape this piece of paracord that has a double overhanded knot down here to the speaker wire. And then I began separating the wire and I stopped when I got got to the mark that I had on the uh, on the wire. I also use two pieces of shrink wrap or, or heat shrink wrap to hold everything in place. And uh, now that it's done, what I have is a pretty secure, I mean I'm sure if I pull on that hard enough or put enough weight on it, it's going to come undone. I was easily able to take this outside and uh, mount it on a mast with moderate wind and I had no problems. Also I have this zip tied because otherwise it just springs everywhere and make the video difficult. The uh, other thing I wanted to share is I use these S beaners as insulators on the end of um, of the elements, and what I did again is I used uh, bank tar line, which is water resistant, I guess, string. Did a little bit of electrical tape, then I did two uh, two layers of shrink wrap tubing, and again, this is a uh, it's pretty tough. It's not going to come off. One of the things I thought about is I could put some sort of like a barrel connector here and actually turn this into a linked dipole or a linked doublet. <clears throat> some people call this a dipole, some people call it a doublet. I'm not really sure what the correct name is other than antenna. The uh, other thing I did is I measured off the feeder line. A lot of times people use um, coaxial cable to connect the top part of the ballon. When you do this, you connect a balanced antenna to an unbalanced feed line, and that's what requires a ballon or a transformer. So what I did down here is I took some shrink wrap and I sealed the wire to keep these ends from splitting, and I put these banana plugs on the end. Uh, before I used, and I actually haven't used the banana plugs, I was just feeding the wire right into this BNC um, banana plug connector, and I quickly saw that this wire is going to break off. So you can see right here. I just had it going into that, that feeder hole and it looked like it was going to cause some problems. So I put these uh, plugs on here and I still have to test it, but I did that after I zip tied it up and I, so I didn't test it. But without these plugs, with this mounted on the mast, going into here and then from here I was connecting it to the back of my radio, I was getting an SWR reading of 1.1 to 1, 1.2 to 1 across a pretty wide area on the 10 meter band. Uh, some people may say, hey, well, Ape, this is some pretty big speaker wire. Couldn't you use something a little smaller, something a little more portable? The answer to that is yes. This is 16 gauge wire. You could probably use 20, 22, 24 and get something a lot smaller, a lot lighter. Uh, the reason I use 16 gauge is my understanding that the heavier gauge wire that you use, the wider your bandwidth is and the wider spectrum of the band that your antenna will be resonant on. So anyhow, that's really it. I plan on doing some more videos. If you guys have questions or comments or would like to see more videos, maybe constructing one of these, I'm planning on making one for uh, 20 meters. But uh, like I said, this was just a quick project that I wanted to do, test out the theory that I had around insulators and, uh, and the mount point. Anyhow, that's it. Really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you.